So they asked about the breastfeeding and I complained about his latching. And so they explained to me that if by the time the nipple comes out of his mouth and it is stretched and is no longer looking the way it should look normally, that means he is nipple feeding and that is what is causing me pain. Oh my god, like really? And I'm like, so how do I correct this? Because I can't continue to you know bring these severe pains and want to do the whole nine yards with this breastfeeding pain so got so good the midwife experienced fantastic lady said okay show me how you feed them so i decided to show her those who have been showing all the other professionals have been saying oh you're doing well so immediately act once and once she said no belly to belly <laughs> she has a very good, <laughs> funny accent belly to belly you know your baby must be facing your mouth facing um the belly your belly must be facing your belly and his face must be facing you directly not that his body is facing someone and then you are trying to turn on his head every member of his body must be facing you that's the first step and then you bring the breast to the baby while i look at the end is you bring the baby to the breast so you bring the baby to the breast so that means you are in control so you may you put the breast on his nose and or at, between his nose and his upper lip and that will make him to open his mouth and so once the mouth is open that is your cue to quickly put the breast in the roof of the mouth and that way you get all of the part of the breast the areola into the mouth i mean doesn't that sound just wonderful and practical so we tried it and it worked fine and honestly my breasts felt better but one thing i noticed is that my son has gotten used to the bad habit of nipple feeding so it seems like once you even latch him correctly he sort of pushes the breast out of the mouth and brings only the nipple out but we've been having that fight for the last 24 hours I will remove the breast from his mouth and say, baby, you must latch properly. If you do not latch properly, no food for you. So we keep doing it, repeating it till he stays correctly on the breast. So that was a that was a that was a um a good take home for me. She checked my belly and said, Oh, I was full of gas. And then, are you farting? I said, no. I said, you need to be farting. It was so funny. I laughed, you know. And, you know, I, I, it, it was good because um, the kind of pain that I would have felt laughing that much would have been so appreciated. But it, was, it wasn't so bad. And so she, she advised that I should get peppermint tea, you know, that once I drink the peppermint tea, two bags, half, half cup and uh, then walk around and then fat and then go to the toilet then it will make my blood test stomach to go down and then the stomach will decrease so he said i can have it up to like three times a day or more if i want so and i already had the mint tea which was recommended by another midwife from the maternity ward earlier so i'm still drinking that so far so good it actually helps with digestion. It, it helps. It has been helping me to go to the toilet more frequently. Thanks for listening. Do remember to subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips on motherhood. Thank you. Thank you.